Hello guys, we are back again. Today we are going to learn physics. And in this video, in physics, we will be learning our first chapter. The first chapter is called Units and Measurements. So what we learn in this chapter is what are units? What are dimensions? Um, how we, what are the types of units in there? What are the quantities are there? And what is the physical quantity? So before we get to that, please subscribe, share and like and comment if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions, please kindly go to the comment below. And please do hit the bell to get more videos on your notification. Now, let's get the status, shall we? So, first and most important question is, what is unit? What is measure? What is unit? What is that term? How do we define unit? Where have we seen this units come from? Can anyone tell me? And there are a lot of units all around our world, even max. Max also has many units. Well, what do we even use units for? We use it to define the measurement. Okay, we measure something using these things called units. Why do we do that? Of course, we have to measure, but you can't just tell, okay, this is 3. 3 what? Can you say, oh, okay, I'm standing here. And there. I took uh, 3 steps. There. There. I did 3. Now what is that? Uh, I should tell now. 3 what? Is it just 3? Or uh, the time is... Oh, it's 3. 3 what? Or oh, another one. Okay. You get the meaning of the units here. Right. So, there is something called physical quantity. That quantity contains units. Alright. So, what is physical quantity? Here is the meaning given below. A quantity which can be measured and by which various physical happenings can be explained and exposed in the form of laws is called a physical quantity. So read the statement again and if you want to write it, you can write it on your notes, pause the video and write. And just have a minute, okay, I will pause the, the, me, the name itself says the meaning, the quantity which is physical. Now what is physical? I'm physical. I'm physically touching myself. Physical. So what are examples comes under this physical? Quantity. I'll give you some examples. I think I'll be told in the beginning. Length, mass, time, force, etc. Sorry, etc. That. that is not an example. That is meaning is more. Okay. Larger the unit, smaller the magnitude. The types of physical quantity. There is uh, the first type of physical quantity is ratio. It is given here below. Ratio that is a numerical value only. It contains just the number. No, you must like no meter, no hour, nothing. Just the number itself. Of course, that will be obviously count as a physical quantity. So here. Yeah. So, for example, strain. Strain is equal to charge in dimension. The charge in dimension has a unit, which is the same unit for the uh, below one, original dimension. Say with me, change in dimension by original dimension. They both have the same unit, but when you divide them, what you get, you get one. Correct. Let's see. Then another example is relative density. We all know relative density. It has no units. But what is its formula? 
density of object by density of water. For here, we give an example as add 4 degree Celsius. Four. Then we have another example, refractive index. We all have that under physics, am I right? Let's say for glass, mirror, lens, etc. Especially lens, okay? Lens has this refractive index. And that obviously has no unit. Then we have, second of all, the second type of physical quantity is scalar. And scalar, my dear friends, my students, has magnitude. Only magnitude, my friend. He only has that guy. No other commentary is there. Okay? Let's say scalar is a guy. And magnitude is a girl. That guy will be committed to that girl. No one else. If, if I'm scalar, I only give to magnitude. That's it. Uh, I don't have any one else. Just magnitude itself. Now, what comes under the scale? What comes under the scalar is our usual one. Length, time, work, energy, etc. The most common quantity seen in our daily lives. You get the main idea what's going on, right? So, you see, scalar contains magnitude. What about ratio? Numericals. Please say it to me. Ratio of physical quantities? Numerical. Hmm? Little more lovely. Other than Then next, scalar? Magnitude. Again, scalar uh, physical quantity? Magnitude only. Again, okay. little more lovely. Huh? Don't do scale, scale of physical quantity, magnitude only. Say loudly, man. Mm, that's it, my students. Be like that. Uh, next, we have the vector, the last type of physical quantity. We have the last vector quantity. What does it contain? Do you think it's like scalar? What do you want? You already know it's a vector quantity. We learned this in 10th or 9th, right? You see, vector contains. Come on, say it. Let me hear. Don't tell me you don't know. Those who don't know, fine. You'll find from me. Those who know, say it out there. And then magnitude and direction. That's the most important thing. The most important term you have to know direction. Now, why do we need direction for a vector quantity? You see, if we say just magnitude, okay, I'll tell you the examples first, then I explain why. For the example for this one, vector, displacement, velocity, acceleration, force, etc. That's where it comes. So, you get the idea? Please say it once more. I will hear it. What are the examples? Displacement, velocity, acceleration, force. Correct. Once more. Displacement, velocity, acceleration, force. Correct. Now, the now uh, we'll be learning the rest of the chapter in the next video. So, for those who have been watching this, I thank you for watching. And uh, please do subscribe, share, and like and comment. If you have any doubts and if you have any suggestions or what, uh, which part you want me to take, I'd be gladly to take. So this is where and please do watch this video a hundred times because uh, I show you physics will have the most important questions. Ever. So so far this video I am not uh, giving the questions. I just gave you a brief uh, introduction. The remaining introduction I'll be giving and I will give few examples and questions. But so, you are lucky I am not giving any homework to you. But don't worry, our homework will be starting next video. So, sit, wait and watch for the next part to come, that is part 2. So, thank you, have a nice day. Adhya Krishna Raj, signing off.